let's start. Mm, yeah, let's start seated. Okay. <sighs> ground into the sits bones or ground into the feet. And we'll start by inhaling through the nose and we'll sigh at the mouth like a sharp sigh. Like if we were closed captioned on a movie, it would say sharp exhale. So inhale. <sighs> yep, and do it again. <sighs> do it again. <sighs> and now let's do an inhale and a long sigh exhale. And then a longer inhale and a sigh exhale. And do that as long as you need to, and then begin to settle into a more relaxed, less frenetic breath. Oh. Oh. Let's give ourselves another breath. And then an exhale. Oh. And if you have an intention for your practice, let's bring that to the space. Bring it to your space. doesn't have to be anything uber spiritual. It doesn't have to be anything really profound. It can be exactly what you need right now. Maybe you just need space or time. Let it be your intention. And we'll inhale. Let's exhale. <sighs> now let's bring our hands behind us, bring our feet to the floor. We're not going to boat pose, I promise. But let's just kind of stomp your feet on the floor. We're waking up the body, also communicating that energy out. And then we'll ground the feet. And then we'll bring the knees out to one side and then to the other. Maybe you want to go kind of quick. So we're going to stand up here in a minute. And move them back and forth. Pay attention to the spine. What's going on? One more time each side and let's come to stand. So like you said, let's shake those cilies out and get everything out so we can really sink into our shavasana, into our restorative portion. Not like we have to earn it or deserve it, but I think it feels really good when we feel like we've moved a lot. So when we stand, let's just kind of do the kidney slap. So kind of, yep, good. You can move fast, you can move slow, as much as quick as you need. And go side to side, and then maybe you start coming into your soup, your breath, and come up, <sighs> inhale up, exhale, <sighs> inhale up, <sighs> inhale up, <sighs> and then let's come to stand, leaning in our mountain pose, grounding the feet, bring the palms together, any expression of mountain pose that you want. And we're going to move through our Surya Namaskar V. That's what we did on Saturday. That's the sun salutation that has the Chaturanga to upward facing dog. After each warrior one, it has our chair pose. So we're going to move. We're going to go with the flow. Inhale, reach up to sky. Exhale, sit down in chair. Breathe in. Exhale, full forward, Uttanasana. Let's inhale, step it back. We're going to move kind of quick today through our Surya Namaskar V. So we're inhaling to plank. And then exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urva Mukhasvanasana. Exhale, Adha Mukhasvanasana. One breath. Exhale, the breath go. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Left heel comes down, rise up. Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, sink into that knee. Breathe in. Exhale, fold forward, frame the foot. Inhale, step it back. Follow Kasana. Nice job. Exhale, lower down. Turn around and Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukhasvanasana. Exhale, back leg go. Oh, inside. Breathe in. Exhale, plant the feet, plant the hands. And on our inhale, step the left foot forward. Lift the right foot down. Let's rise up on an inhale. Bear Vajrasana one. 
Exhale to sink into that right long leg, left bent leg, breathe in. Exhale, strong fold forward, the inhale back to plank pose, Palakasana. Mm -hmm. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Ordha Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in. Good job, breathe out. <sighs> inhale. Exhale, sigh. Ah, inhale, step the right foot forward and the left. Then exhale, sit back in the chair with the arms to sky. Utkatasana. Yep, and inhale, rise. Samas Titi. Or Tadasana. Same idea. Samas Titi, breathe in. Exhale, sit back in the chair. Utkatasana. Breathe in. Exhale, fold forward. Utkatasana. Inhale, float it back, Palakasana. Good. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, or Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, step the right foot forward, left foot comes down, let's rise up, Virabhajasana one. Breathe in. Exhale to sink into the knee, the leg. Breathe in. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, step the foot back. Plank pose. Good. Exhale, lower down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Ordha Mukha Svanasana. Nice, strong, long back. Exhale, back. Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> Inhale, step the left foot forward. Keep it the right foot down. Let's rise. Virabhadrasana one. Grounding into the body on an exhale. Breathe in. Exhale, fold it forward. <sighs> And then inhale, step it back, plank, breathe in. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Ordha Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, back, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Another breath in and out. Inhale, step the feet forward. Exhale, sit back in chair, Uttakatasana. We'll inhale to rise and float the hands down. Tadasana. Inhale. And exhale. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, ground into the right foot and let's hinge at the waist, floating into our Virabhadrasana three. Send that left leg back. And then we'll exhale, bring the right hands and then I'll bring both hands to the ground and let's rise up, bringing that left toe to kind of touch the ground. Uh huh. And then let's exhale, hinge it forward. Reaching forward with the arms and then exhale to stand, lowering the left foot to the ground. Let's do it again two more times. Inhale, extend, reach the left leg back. And then exhale to stand. One more time. Inhale, extend through the fingers. Left leg goes back. Let's pause this time. Three breaths for three and two and one. Let's exhale, ground the hands. Left foot reaches for sky into a standing splits. And then let's exhale, step the left foot back, rise up into our crescent lunge, breathe in. Uh-huh. Good, let's exhale to twist towards the right. The arms reaching from the shortages of the mat. And that right hand, let's bring it to the left leg and reach up to sky with the left. A little twisted revolve or reverse crescent, breathe in. Now exhale, send the left hand on the inside of that right foot. Right arm reaches for sky. Mm -hmm. Pars Vokanasana. Pabrita Pars Vokanasana, breathe in. Let's exhale to bring the right hand down to frame the foot. Step the right foot back and go over to the left side for a side plank. Bhashi Sahasana on the left side. Good, nice and strong. Keep the hips lifted, let's breathe in. And now if you want, maybe tap the hips down towards the ground and then lift them to the sky again. Let's do that two more times or stay static. Lower down, dip the hips and lift up. Dip the hips and lift up, Vashisthasana. Good, let's bring the right hand down, coming into plank pose, breathe in. And then exhale back, Chaturanga Dandasana, down, or yeah, back to Adhamukhasvanasana, breathe in. And then float it forward to plank pose and lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, or Mukhasvanasana. And now exhale back, Adha Mukhasvanasana, just for a breath. And now lower down the knees, let's sit it back into child pose. Let's give ourselves three breaths. Let me listen to the breath and feel the heart beating in the chest. 
Oh, let the breath go however it wants to leave the body. Another breath. And let's exhale, go to table, curl the toes under, back to Adho Mukhasvanasana. Inhale. Now let's glance up with the hands, step the left foot forward, keep the right foot back, and we're going to rise right into that mirror Vajrasana three. Mm -hmm. Reaching forward with the hands, back with the foot, and then let's bring the right foot to tap to the ground, bringing the chest high, and then we'll extend into Vira Vajrasana three. Exhale, bring the foot to the ground, lifting the chest. Inhale, Vira Vajrasana three. Exhale, tap the foot. And then one inhale, Vira Vajrasana three, reaching forward, reaching that right leg back. Inhale. And then exhale, plant the hands, let's reach the right foot to the sky, finding our standing splits. Yep. And then bend the knee, drop the right foot back, ground the ball of the foot. Let's rise up, crescent one. Really press to the ball of that foot, bend into that front knee. And then we'll exhale to bring the arms out to the side and twist toward the left. Finding our twisted crescent. And then exhale to drop the left hand onto that right thigh, the right hand reaching for sky. Breathe out and in. And then exhale, bring the right hand down on the inside of the left foot, right arm to the sky. Avrita Karzo Konasana. Breathe in. Exhale, sweep the left hand down. The foot's framed now. So we'll inhale to step it back to plank pose. Breathe in. And then your favorite, exhale over to your plank. Vashi Sahasana, side plank. Left arm reaches over the head, maybe. And then if you want, dip the hip down and up. And down and up, and then dip the hip down. Let's bring it up. Exhale, plant the hand, inhale to plank, and then exhale. Good, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, or Mukhasvanasana. Exhale back to Adho Mukhasvanasana. And then we'll inhale forward to plank, back to plank, hips lift. Let's inhale, bring the right knee to right elbow, and then sit that leg long. You can either bring the toe down or get the leg lifted. And now let's lower the leg, bring the left knee to the left elbow, and then left knee to right elbow, and then sit that leg back. Either hover or plant it, and then leave it down. Let's breathe in. And now right knee, right elbow, and back. Left knee, left elbow, and back. Do it again. Right knee, right elbow, and back. Left knee, left elbow, and back. Let's pause here, breathe in, exhale. And now step the right foot forward. Step the left foot to meet the right. And then exhale, drop the sits bones, reach the arms to sky. Bring the hands into prayer. Ground the right foot, lift the leg up, flex the left foot towards the face, and lower down as far as you can. And let's rise up and send the leg back to the beer of a in the three. Lift up out of the hip socket. Let's breathe in nice and deep. Exhale. Oh, maybe you roar like the, the new fossil that you are. <laughs> Letting the breath leave the body. Let's inhale, bring the knee through. Send that leg long in front of us. Instead of nice and tall, flex the foot. And then maybe lower down into our one legged chair. Again, as low as we can, as low as you want. And then plant the foot into chair. Uta Katasana. Inhale, let's rise. Bring the hands to the side. And maybe feel your heart pounding in your chest. That's a true sign that you're alive. Let's breathe in. Let's exhale, sit in our chair. <sighs> Ground the left foot into the floor. Sit the right leg forward, finding that one legged chair. Breathe in. And then exhale, sit it back to your Vajrasana three. Breathe in. And out, <clears throat> and then inhale, let's send it through, bringing the knee through, bringing the leg nice and tall, standing tall on that left leg, and then we'll lower it down, coming into our one-legged chair, breathe in, and then exhale, bring the foot to meet the left foot, bring the hands into prayer again, inhale, and then exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana, and then let the breath go, and let the head be heavy, breathe in and out, Let's inhale, step it back to plank pose. 
He never thought you'd do another plank again in this class. <laughs> Breathe in. Let's exhale, lower down the knees. Bring the tops of the feet to the earth. Let's sit back on our heels. Reach the hands nice and forward. Bring the left hand into the middle of the mat. Sweep the right hand back to the sacrum. And press the right hand down, press the left hand down, breathing in and out. Letting that right or that left arm pit stretch open. And then bring the right arm forward, place the right hand in the middle of the mat. The left hand comes back to the sacrum. The right hand pressing down, let's breathe out and in. And then we'll inhale, come up to tabletop, plant the hands, curl the toes under. Now let's hover the knees over the earth. And then from here, let's just bring the right knee to the right wrist and then send the right leg long. So it's kind of like the right leg is long, the left knee is bent and hovered, and I bring the right knee towards the right wrist, and then send the leg long. And now lower the ball of the right foot down, the knees still hover, bring the left knee to the left wrist, and then send the leg long behind you. Nice, bring the left knee to the left wrist, and inhale, send the leg behind you, breathe in. Exhale, bring the toes to the floor, hover the knees. Be here for three more breaths. Just like our mantra ohm is the beginning, middle, and end. We have the beginning, middle, and end, I promise. Breathe in. And now let's exhale, send the hips to the sky, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Maybe bring the legs, the are or the feet, mathesins apart, nice and wide. Breathe out and in. Out and in. Breathe in. Exhale, glance at the hands, step the right foot forward, and then the left foot, bend your knees. Let's rise up to stand. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. And let's pause. Just giving ourselves a moment to be maybe noticing the passage of time. We're not really paying attention too much to the ticking of the clock when we're in the present moment. Whether it's the burning sensation, the pounding of the heart, or the breathing that keeps us present. The present moment can really ground us. We can keep our mind steady. when we have something the mind can attach to. So as we begin to transition to a restorative portion, let's give ourselves, give our mind something to attach to. Maybe it's an affirmation, maybe it's a prayer. But give yourself a moment to think of it. As it says in the Yoga Sutras, anything that is elevating to your spirit it could be a dream that you had in deep sleep, it could be your mantra, bring it to your mind, and let that be your anchor for a restorative portion of class. Let's breathe in. And exhale, sigh. And we'll slowly make our way down to the floor. Oh, putting our asana practice behind us, this transition into our restorative time. Let's find our bolster, or maybe have a bunch of pillows. Let's bring our legs long, place the bolster on top of the legs, and we're going to fold over the bolster. This is our seated forward fold. This is really calming for the nervous system. It's cooling for the body. And so however you want to fold, just bring it into your space. Another option is to bring the bolster so your crown or your third eye, excuse me, can rest on the bolster. Sometimes that's nice. If you don't know what to do with your hands, sometimes I rest them under my calves when I smoosh my head into the bolster. 
Sometimes I like to just rest on the bolster with a blanket or block. So find what's going to allow you to feel like you're just <sighs> resting on this cushion. And you notice the legs that just held us so strongly. Feel them entirely support the knee. Let's find our mantra, whatever is your anchor, drop into that anchor. Anytime your mind wanders, just bring it back. And that's a mindful moment. So just be mindful, concentrating on one thing. Maybe intentionally slowing the breath by increasing the length of inhale and exhale so you can lower that heart rate. softening the eyes. Sometimes we have a tendency to squint the eyes when we begin to come into rest. So just letting the eyes rest. Letting yourself be. Begin to count down from five to savoring the last few moments. Three, two. In this last moment here, just giving gratitude to your body for making it this far. Giving your body gratitude for all it does for you all day long. And now let the breath go. And breathe in. 
Exhale to lift the head off the blanket. Now let's take our blanket, keep that bolster handy. And we did this last week, so we're gonna just give ourselves a little roll here with the blanket. And I've kind of folded mine in half and then I'm gonna fold it in half again. So we're gonna lay this along the spine like we've been doing lately. So get into a nice roll that's gonna go along the spine. And sometimes people don't want it very thick. So what you can do then is just roll part way and then just leave the other part kind of hanging out. But I know that I do like it, the full roll. If that makes sense, the full roll. So bring the bolster off to the side. So what we're going to do, inhale slowly in another moment. Yeah, so we're going to lay the back on the blanket. It's a nice spot. Maybe move the ponytail if you need to. And then we're going to bring the bolster underneath the feet. So we're going to actually put our feet on the bolster. So our feet are going to be on the edges of the bolster. And let those feet come together. So the back on the bolster, or back on the blanket, the feet on the bolster, the knees falling in. You might notice this is just a nice little kind of rest for the low glutes, the piriformis, and those upper hamstrings, the upper part of the back of the leg. So maybe you feel just a little kind of gentleness there. And maybe you don't, that's okay. If you want, you can just bring the bolster under your knees let the legs hang out. But if it's comfortable with those feet, bring the bolster on the edges and the knees together. Oh, and we'll just let the breath come and go, dropping us into our anchor, dropping us into the present moment. We're not thinking about the next moment, we're not thinking about after class. As we have right now, let's be here right now. Sometimes a nice anchor to the present moment is just name the parts of the body that you feel in contact with the floor or in contact with one another. Just scanning the body, maybe even at some point you notice the prana, the flow of prana within. This shape that we're in here as well. It kind of brings subtle body awareness to the hips and to the space between the hips, that pelvic bowl region. And that's where the water element resides. Water is connected with the moon, little Miss Moon Child over there. It's our emotions. So just letting the emotion settle. That's what this shape supports us on a subtle body level does. The subtle body dropping into the water element, helping ourselves digest our day and process the day. We don't even have to do a thing. Just anchor into the present moment.
in your mind form or just bring it back to your anchor. Maybe your anger shifts to the movement of prana in your body. As we drop into stillness, sometimes the movement of prana is much more noticeable. It's a little less nuanced and it's much more grosser than the soul. Bring some awareness to the back of the eyelids, to the tip of the nose, to the back of the throat, and then to the heart. Notice the prana leaving the heart. Nourishing your entire being. Maybe you chant the mantra all three times now. Now with your awareness on that anchor, as if you were moving through a dream. We're going to just roll over enough 
to remove that blanket out. You can drop the knees kind of to the side, move that blanket, but keep the blanket handy. If it's super easy, screw over to a wall, put your legs up the wall. If you don't have legs up the wall, call just go over to the couch and bring the backs of your calves to the couch. I'm going to try to do this with as little movement as possible to keep us here grounded in this space. If you have a wall, I want you to kind of bring that blanket to the soles of your feet and then kind of bring the feet to the wall so the blanket's on the soles of the feet, if you can, unless that's too much of an annoyance and too disturbing to the calm. Put that little bit of weight on the bottom of the feet. Again, this is a subtle body. It's going to put weight into the feet and bring it down into those hips. Our back is flat on the floor. If your legs are on the couch, that's fine too. We're going to bring that energy, the awareness to the hips, into that pelvic region. And then we'll drop into our anchor, dropping into our meditation. Meditation begins with a concentration on one thing. And then it morphs into extended concentration, which then morphs into absorption. Where there's no separation, there's no distinction between what we are concentrating on and on ourselves. We become what we're concentrating on. There's oneness, samadhi. Let ourselves be completely absorbed in the moment. Letting the emotions take care of themselves and letting our subtle bodies settle. As we drift into bliss.
Now, as you're ready, you can continue to connect to that anchor here in this shape. Be savoring what this shape has to offer. Knowing that this shape is always available to you. If you're ready for your Shavasana, you just make your way into your expression of resting pose, however is comfortable to you. Make it a moving meditation as you transition from one supportive shape to the other. When you get to your Shavasana, drop into your anchor and drop into that absorption. And concentration morphing into extended concentration and extended concentration morphing into absorption. Bring our awareness to our toes and our heels. The calves, the shins, the knees, the tops of the thighs, the backs, the thighs, and the hip, to the navel, 
the bottom ribs to the stomach, to the low back, mid back and the upper back, to the chest, the collarbones and to the shoulders. Bring our awareness to the biceps, the backs of the arms, the elbows, the forearms, the knob of the wrist to the wrist, the finger, the back of the neck, the throat. the jaw, the ears, the top lip, the bottom lip, the nose, the eyes, the eyebrows, the forehead, the temples, our hair and our scalp and our head. Sometimes the more concentrated that we drop into the physical body, the more we're able to be outside of the body and be into our nature as bliss. So we just maybe notice the prana within, maybe it's one spark or maybe you feel a glob or a channel of prana. Just bring your awareness to your heart. This experience of being human is here for our soul. I don't know if I'll say this quote entirely perfect, but the American distance running prodigy Steve Prefontaine once said that the purpose of a race isn't to see who is fastest, it's to test the limits of the human heart. When I apply that to life, I think that the purpose of life isn't to see who has the most or to achieve the most, it's to test the limits of our soul. Let's come to a seated position together. Let's bring our hands to our hearts. That limitless heart. Let's exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Namaste. 